We'll talk about spatula today. Spatula in Japanese is called hera. It kind of gives you a lot of、um, efficiency in the craft. When you need to do your mixing for the kokso,、uh, for sabi, if you have good hera, the experience will be much more pleasant. You can mix things better, faster, and then scrape your palate. Cleaner and easier. The tricky thing about Kintsugi Hera is the size. We notice that there isn't anything in the market that is quite the suitable size for Kintsugi craft use. A lot of the sizes of the spatula come s rather big, mainly because Urushi craftsmen usually use much bigger tools like this. The glass palette or the wood palette that Urushi artisan s use. Are rather big because each time they would mix a big batch of urushi. So the standard size for urushi craft use spatula it's about 60 millimeter, two and a quarter inch wide. And you will notice that if you use something like this, this is way too big for your kintsugi craft, which tends to be. Much smaller in scale, including your your palette.、Uh, this is probably like already half the size of your mixing palette. The other standard size for、uh, Hera is usually around 30 millimeter, which is about one and a quarter inch. And Kintsugi is a very small branch of craft that is underneath Urushi craft or Makia craft. So that's why there isn't really like Spatula made for that size. And what artisans usually do is make their own tools out of wood and bamboo, and, and it's a very, very common practice. Actually, the knives that the knives that Nushi san,、uh, Urushi artisan use, are made for making hera. It's a very common practice that. People make their own spatula to fit their craft, to fit their hands, to fit their style and habit. So you don't really need that many, but <laughs> these are really beautiful tools and they are not as expensive as, you know, like the handmade Makia brush. So it won't hurt to have a collection of it. And what I like is when these spatula are made with natural material, it a g e as your Skills in the craft mature because wood is a natural organic material. The more you use it, the more patina you will achieve, and the more beautiful actually they would look. So, the most、uh, expected or common material in spatula making would be bamboo, you know, and they grow super fast. So, these are actually very good material that is being used in a wide variety of. Tools and furniture s and you know, housewares and things. And they are known to be rapidly regrowable material, so it's highly sustainable because once you chop them down, you can use it for a variety of things and then they grow back super fast. Bamboo spatula actually goes slightly smaller and we create like a very thin profile, so it gives you a little bit of flex if you need to scrape up your. Sabi Kokso and apply it directly to your bowl. If you are into making your own spatula, if you have access to bamboo strips, this is just a scrap piece of bamboo from cutting, you know, from the bigger piece, and somehow the skin kind of fell off, and I turn it into a really nice, flexible spatula as well. The other common material would be wood. The most common type of wood in Japan would be cypress and cedar, which is regionally grown for a variety of you know, things like houseware, furniture, s all the way to construction you know, building material as well. So, and depending on the cut of the wood, you get different grains. Usually for fine tools, we use a finer grain, a finer cut. So, that you get a really nice and smooth finish 
on the material. For wood spatula, I am sure you can get these also in your home center, in your own country, but um, you should check the type of wood and the grain because if it's for construction use, especially in probably in a paint aisle where, you know, I remember, you know, like Home Depot will have these super cheap uh, sticks. I, I don't know what kind of wood they use, but then it's usually really coarse. The grain is very rough uh, because it's man meant for just stirring paint, mixing paint, and you throw it away afterwards. So for a very fine kind of craft, those may not be the most suitable, you know, especially for kintsugi, if you use these for mixing your kokso or um, your sabi, you will do a lot of scraping kind of action so that the finer the grain, the smoother the grain, the easier for you to scrape it off clean and for mixing as well. So that's why for handmade tools that we use in kintsugi, it's definitely a finer grade uh, and a finer grain type of wood which we use and very commonly we use cedar or hinoki uh, um, I mean uh, cypress cedar or cypress which is readily available in Japan pretty much people make their own spatula here you know for kintsugi artisans or urushi artisans these are handmade spatulas that you probably will not be able to find them in the stores because they like I said the standard size is always like 60 millimeter or 30 millimeter. So for something, you know, almost like half the size, you can see, you can't find them in the store. Uh, so that's why for people selling you, you know, kintsugi kit, hobby kit, they probably wouldn't spend the effort and time to have them handmade for you. So that's why they probably give you the plastic ones or some bamboo sticks or toothpicks or skewer sticks so but if you practice a lot you will grow to love these handmade tools because they are probably you know other than your makia brushes these are probably your next best friend in your toolkit if it's handmade to the right size the handle is just right it's, n it's not as long as it's almost like three quarter uh, in length of a standard size spatula so the I mean it's it's definitely gives you better tactility and agility in using it so you you know on a small palette you won't be mixing with a super long wood spatula or super wide spatula so this these are the perfect size that we custom make for kintsugi use and what another just personal preference you know I like wood spatula because they are so much nicer warmer to touch you know the tactility is so different than plastic ones because they're you know high quality wood they're I mean they're handmade you take very good care of them you grow to kind of love them you, you get attached to them and you see them age uh, or patine as you use them just like mine you know you start getting you know all the urushi and oil over time that you know it, it does have a really nice patina growing on it so it makes your tool much more personal i think in our shop we carry two sizes because we think these are the perfect size for kintsugi craft these are hinoki like cypress japanese cypress we choose the cut that provides you the smoothest finest grain so it's easy to clean it's easy to scrape and even if you need to modify your tools, sand it down or taper the edges, you don't get all the splinters because the, the grain is so much finer. So when you get a spatula from our shop, what you can do is modify the edge a little bit so that you get a nicer, sharper, tapered edge. So what you need to do is have a knife. You can, I mean, if you don't have these kind of small knives, you can probably use a, one of those heavy duty cutter, box cutter that should work too. So what you need to do is just to kind of create a tapered edge at, at the spatula. So you get a nicer tapered, sharper profile. 
sort of, it's shown here. So you can get a nice tapered edge for your spatula scraping meat. So that's how um, you would modify your tools.